is News 5 with Christina Wofford and Ted Coffey. News 5, your Valley News Station. All right, if you missed the Rolling Stones at the America West Arena, and who can imagine you would do a thing like that? Well, you can get some satisfaction this weekend. The Stones Tribute Band will be playing at this big Tempe Town Lake uh, Music Festival. It's going on two days. Uh, Fred uh, Padrick is with us uh, with the Traveling Rolling Stones uh, Road Show. Good morning, Fred. You're used to getting up early, aren't you? <laughs> well, not quite this <laughs> early. How are you doing this morning, Jeff? Doing great. Man, this festival is going to be fantastic. We've got two days. We're going to start it tomorrow at 4 o'clock, and then we're going to go on uh, Saturday for like 12 hours. You pretty psyched for this? Yeah, we're, we're terrifically excited for this. We're going to have over 60 bands here this weekend, and there's all different types of music. There's a lot of tribute bands, as you mentioned, the, uh, the Rolling Stones tribute bands. There's some ACDC tribute bands, right. Pat Benatar, some other guys like that. Then there's a lot of local bands uh, that are going to play, and we, and we have some national acts coming in with the B-52s, CCR, and, and some undiscovered artists who we're real excited about, uh, a guy named Monty Montgomery from Austin, Texas, and uh, oh. Gary Hoey from, from L.A. and stuff like that. Yeah, you guys had this Rolling Stones traveling little show here, and that is really something else. If you don't know a lot about the Stones, you can see some historical uh, footage that your radio station have put together. This is really something else. Yeah, this trailer is meant to be kind of an educational slash entertainment piece for us while we're out and about in the community, and uh, we take it out to schools and let kids uh, get a chance to see about uh, different things and uh, it, it can be swapped out right now it's the Rolling Stones it's been the Beatles it's also been Woodstock uh, over about a year we've had it now so your radio station pretty deeply involved in this and your radio station is well this one is KSLX also our other stations uh, KDKB and 98 KUPD are also uh, supporting the event this weekend hey uh, um, if you give me an idea how much does it cost to get into this show Cause... if you buy your tickets in advance it's $15 at uh, any Valley Safeway store and it's twenty dollars at the gate. Uh, it's five dollars for kids from six to twelve, and free for uh, children under that. And how much would it be if you do a really mean Mick Jagger impersonation like <laughs> I do? Well, we'll see about uh, <laughs> maybe coming in uh, the, the back door. Uh, great. Well, I'm looking forward to you. you know they do a great job out there. And, and thanks for getting up with us this morning. And rock and roll fans throughout. Uh, Arizona are going to love this show, and uh, thank you for doing that. If you need more weather inf weather information, I'll give you that. If you need more concert information, you can go on to our website. That's news5.tv, and we also have weather information on that, too. You can go there and log on. This is going to be yeah, great. Yeah, have, like, five stages. And... Yeah, 30, wow. over 30 bands. That's great. So, I mean, you know, you're bound to find somebody you like there. If you don't like one, you just go, oh, I'll come back in a couple hours. Right. You should and have a good time. All right. right. Pretty cool if they're, com they're turning the Rolling Stones into education, right? <laughs> Well, 30 years of rock and roll. We've got, to teach the, we've got to teach the younger generation what that all meant to all of us older folks. Absolutely. And they're still doing it, which is just amazing. Yeah. All right. I think we have